HSU, live from Amsterdam. See right now again, gang in the chat, gang in the chat.
bass catcher. Switch. to the classic, perhaps the most famous classic in all the world of music. One, two, one, 
to podcast. Shout out to the one and only no type DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Chat, are we alive or what? Yeah. Going on you with the pick and roll. Yeah. Here we fucking go! Ladies and gentlemen, brand new ruler track. This is Love You Baby. Here we fucking go. Aggressive Records. Brand new ruler.
Australia, you're not ready for this one. Here we fucking go. Love you, baby. Brand new ruler track. Gang in the chat. Gang in the chat. Let's go a little bit faster, okay? Chat, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Here we fucking go!
drop, in the drop, in the drop, in the drop, in the drop. Say what you want, I'm the motherfucking boss. Fucking boss.
first time you felt it running through your Okay, chat, heads. let's go a little bit the slower, okay? Record. Do you remember you back in the days? Your very first dance on, on the, the reverse space. space. The years went by and you start to realize they're just echoes of the past and that time really flies. And you wish you could put your life on rewind. But you know that you have to leave the past behind. It's time to take a trip down memory lane. Close your eyes. And relive the age of the reversed bass. Getting way too hot in here, chat. I'm getting down. Way too fucking hot. I'm making sweat, making sweat. I'm getting down on the dance floor. I'm making sweat, making sweat. Music like freedom. Make you sweat, make you sweat, make you sink, you sink, you sweat, make you sweat, make you sweat, make you sink, you sink, you sweat. Make you sweat, 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 Explaining what occurs during hypnosis. 
Fucking God, here we go! Three, two, one, let's go! out of the best label in the fucking planet aggressive fucking records this is malice another day Fucking nation! Po, po, po. That's fucking right! Shout out to Joy. <laughs> Domination. 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 
New music, ruler and frontliner. This one is Stay Walk together with MC Jeff. Here we go.
Aussies, this one is for you. This is lost and found. Sick modern ruler. Well, it's not finished, but <laughs> it was a secret, Ale. Sorry, no. This one is only ruler. Maybe later sick mode. We don't know yet. Here we fucking go. You at home? Must for me. Must for me, please.
Ladies and gentlemen, all I want to see right now in the chat is number 10. Don't, even if you don't know what's about, 1-0 in the chat. Number 10. Italian trap in the place. 10 sprite. Number 10 in the chat. Number 10 in the chat. Here we go. Forse Roberto Ale. I can't remember. Forse Roberto Ale. Okay guys, right now, of course I cannot see you, but I trust you that you're gonna do a fat hug on this one, okay? A fat hug, you at home, you at home, fat hug. I wanna see videos on the Hack Appreciation Society all around this track, okay? This is Remember the Name, Ruler and Sefa. Do some fat hack for the daddy ruler. You have to know that uh, Sigmo didn't want me to play this track because he likes it. But you know what? I don't care. He can play. He can play. He can play twice. He can play twice. Okay, chat. If you hear this one again later, it's because we both like it. Okay. Here we fucking go! You 
Okay, if you are a true hardcore lover and I like an old school type of raver, this track is for you. Okay, here we go. This is not a peep kick track, okay? Don't worry about it. DJ Pop! Make it fucking louder! Okay guys, this one is the last track from my set. F in the chat for sick mode, F in the chat, because after this one it's not gonna be able to recover. It was a pleasure to play for you once again. Coming up, sick mode, and then after that we're gonna do some talk with the one and only all your favorite, okay? The priest, the one itself. Okay, chat. Sefa did nothing on this track. Sefa did nothing. I repeat, Sefa did nothing. Survive in the streets.
Just you, live from Amsterdam. I, I, I know you're gonna dig this.
see your talents have gone beyond the mere physical level.
the intensity of sound. the 
way we like the fuck Dick man, what in the world is that fucking thing? Do you need some fucking tweezers to put that little thing away? That has got to be the smallest dick I have ever seen in my whole life Get the fuck out of here
I'd like to welcome you to another brilliant track by Sick Mode. Today, he will teach you how to do the club long dance. Here we go. This looks like a fucking swimming gymnastic for old nasty bitches. You can do that better. Go fuck yourself. This is just a joke. With your hands. With your legs. With your hands. With your legs. So, ready? Three, two, one. Clock long. Shitty track by Sigmod. Ready? Here we fucking go. Go fuck yourself. This is just a joke. With your hands. With your legs. With your hands. With your legs. So, ready? Three. Two, one, clock long.
Brace yourself.
giving you that murder to death. Like. right now all we want to see is la 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 you know what to do you know what to do sam we're 
chat right now. Come on. Sam, we're not going to continue with the music until we see La La La. We don't care. We don't care. La La La? Yes or no? La 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 in the chat. Okay, here we go. La 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 Chat! One, two! Do it faster, faster. Yeah, it's better. Here we fucking go! Okay, and right now, shall we? A little bit faster, come on. Come on, faster. Here we go! Dio! Not exactly sure why you wanted me to come here and do the MC. I think we want to say something uh, a little, a little spoil. Sorry for the bald head, by the way. He stole my cap. Anyway, just a little bit of spoiler. Man, look my hair. Come on. It's way better than mine. Look at mine. <laughs> anyway, or, or Sam's. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should do like a, like a audio freak, uh, audio freak haircut. Shall we? Yeah. Anyway. Well, I can't. Well, no, actually, I don't, I don't same. have same. <laughs> we don't, we don't have that much air. Anyway, what we wanna say is thank you for watching Sigmund the Ruler for HSU. We're gonna, of course, do us a little talk with the uh, one and only Audio Freak. But what we wanna say? Is oh, mixtape volume two incoming. Damn! Are you literally, literally you? Okay, you asked me to come here and say something, and then you spoiled it. Okay, mixtape volume two incoming. Aggressive records. Here we fucking go. Okay, can you go to commercial? <laughs> HSU, live from Amsterdam. Aggressive records in the building, you know hey, how it hey, goes. Hey, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> you done, man? <laughs> Sick mode and ruler in the place. We're broadcasting live on Twitch. This is HSU live from Amsterdam. I'm your host, the one and only audio freak, the brother in the bass, with the Italian masters of disasters. Can we get a round of applause for Sick mode and ruler in the building? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Absolutely incredible sets. Love what you guys are doing. Uh, I want to play a game uh, in a little bit. It's called Never Have I Ever. And we're going to ask the chat uh, to ask you guys questions, Never, starting with the phrase, never have I ever. So stuff like, never have I ever I, been not, arrested. I'm not even sure I can say it. Never, never have I ever. Uh, I definitely can't say that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff that the chat is going to come up with. Never have I ever. Uh, never, have I ever, ever. <laughs> never have I ever <laughs> had a man. Okay, is I, that? I, will, I will say never have I ever. ever so never, 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 never. Sorry, guys. I'm Italian. <laughs> That's okay. I, I also um, have an Australian girlfriend, but it no, doesn't work uh, because I still. Uh, no, it is. To lubricate your throat to make sure that everything is going to run smooth, uh, I believe that you've brought in some Italian liquor. Well, you literally forced me to. Uh, well, yeah, I asked, I asked I for this. No because, we, you know, shoeys are a thing, but I thought we need to step it up a little bit. We need to get some more fire up in the chat. <laughs> You know and uh, we need uh, we need something a little bit spicy, something from Italy. We have some grappa in the place. Can you explain to the people at home what grappa is? Dude, I don't <laughs> like know. It's still full. That's why I didn't drink it. I, I have no clue what it is. No, <laughs> uh, this, this one is actually a gift from Sefa from my, uh, for my birthday. It's uh, Italian. Okay. Um, yeah, what can, I, what can I say? It's just really strong, man. <laughs> Let's shit. That's all. I think man, that's man, all I can man, say. No, please, not more. Man, no, yes to drive. drive. Yes to drive. drive. But we, we, you know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just the tip. Uh, just the tip. All I can say is like uh, 41 degrees alcohol. So. Okay. Wow. So, but if if the sea of Twitch is watching, don't worry. It's all good, man. It's fine. It's going to be fine. So we're going to kick things off again. Sick mode and ruler in the place. Chin chin. Chin chin. Yeah, chin, chin. Prost. 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 And, uh, and cheers for Salute. the Aussies. Salute. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Disgusting. I regret that. Okay, can we go? I, you literally asked for it. I don't care, man. Um, At this point, I don't care. We're in for the long haul. Never have I ever is the game that we're about to play with Sick Mode and Ruler right here as we broadcast live uh, from Amsterdam. I'm going to scroll through the chat and we've got one. This is a recurring question uh, from a guy called James One. Hey, James. Never have I ever had a man. 
like in my life. Have you ever had a man in your life? The one and only. The the one one only I, had, I had two. I had two. I had the uh, Sigmund and Malice. <laughs> <laughs> so I have one. Uh, oh, you mean in a love way? In a love way. Then two, yes. You've had two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, s- seven. Keeping it. Uh, keeping it. Seven. At the same time. Oh my god. <laughs> the gang bang gang gang. Gang uh, gang gang bang in the chest. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what? Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Why not? I mean, okay. Uh, that's how you, you know what? You, you, well, I, all, all I can say, I had really ugly girls in the day, back in the day. So hey, it's, it's pretty much the that, same that, thing. That for sure counts as one. Absolutely <laughs> counts as one. Um, another question coming in from the chat. Uh, never have I ever been to Piazza Solari. <laughs> yes, every Who was that? Who, who said night. that? Who said that? Um, no, no type. No type. Uh, Berber Visser. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. I, I have been to Piazza Solari. A lot, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, Ali used to live like five minutes away from there. <laughs> that's, your, that's your haunt. That's your new that's, place. That's, that's the place we, to go. We, we are doxing some addresses. We don't want that. We're not dox. No, we don't want to dox any address. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, next question coming in from the chat. Never have I ever coming in from Hardstyle Homo. The question is, never have I ever uh, had regrets of a tattoo? Uh, um, are you first? I've been talking a lot. No, no, no. I oh, you man, you <laughs> I have I have sev- I have several girlfriend statues. Um, oh no! I have, I have plenty of, it, of them. Uh, honestly, honestly, no, don't search for us. No, 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 no. I'm just making sure the mics are <laughs> no, okay. No, no. Okay. To be completely fair, I never really regret. Uh, honestly, like I only covered one, and Re- and because my my girlfriend back then she said, "No, oh, you had a, uh, a tattoo from your ex girlfriend. You have to cover it." And uh, I mean that's that's a sport. that's a kind of fair Honest, request though. Honestly, man, like. Um, I, I tattoos are just history on, on my on my skin. I don't really care if it's yeah, a bad memory. Have, yeah, yeah, and aggressive and, uh, aggressive yeah. and yeah, <laughs> but um, I, I I do have some some shit tattoos. I have my face in, on my back. I'm not gonna show, but I are you my, serious? Yeah, that's a really shit tattoo. <laughs> I, I, I regret the way it was done. I don't regret having my face on my back. <laughs> well, hey, you know, if you, people see you from the front, they can see you from the back. They can see your beautiful face all over the place. I hope they will never see my back though, because <laughs> it's <laughs> disgusting. Show the best tattoo ever. <laughs> oh Which my one? god, aggressive record. Aggressive record. Aggressive records. Can we get that on the camera? Look at that right there on the, uh, just above the wrist. Oh, it's a brand new one. Nice, yeah. nice stuff. Well, I, I do actually also have uh, Vaffanculo on my ass. <laughs> it means- No, literally in the ass, no, literally. No, I, I have it on my ass. I'm not joking. Seriously? Okay, in Italian, Vaffanculo means fuck off. And I have <laughs> fuck off in Italian on my ass. Oh my fucking God. That's but I, I don't regret that, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best. Okay, can, can we back in the music, please? <laughs> <laughs> right. I kind of like. Well, you know what? No, yeah. this is fine. This is fine. We're talking uh, about your your history, your experiences, and uh, and apparently tattoos around your butt. So that's cool. To answer your question, no, I never regretted a tattoo. Never regretted a mm. tattoo. Okay, uh, we've got one here coming in from Savage Squad Recordings. <laughs> no, 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 don't read that one. <laughs> Go to Jordi. Fuck you. No, no, read the next I feel. One. I feel like I have to say it though. I it, feel he's like he's probably I, drunk. No. You know what? It's it's a, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, the question is uh, from the chat never have i ever vomited in Geneva. <laughs> <laughs> because jordi the guy who said that he's a pussy so <laughs> so the last time he came man, to Geneva, can we skip this question we, we, we gave him three shots and then he was on the floor man really man what a pussy was it uh <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, man. No, anyway, uh, no, I know I did vomit in Genoa. <laughs> I vomit pretty much all over, man. Everywhere. Man. It, it's a recurring theme when you drink. Did, did you ever drink if you didn't vomit? No. Oh, man. Honestly. Listen, you, have you been on Tweaker TV yet? I did, man. Did you not vomit no, or you I, vomited? I think, I think I can flex the fact that I didn't vomit. Oh, dude, I think everybody else has because I, I, when it, I went on there, man, it was I, bad. I tell you this, man. I, I, ho- I was hoping that they were faking all the alcohol. <laughs> I, I, man, well, after I was that, so wrong. After that was unbelievable. I, uh, I have his photo I, naked. <laughs> I, I, I arrived at home and I was completely on the floor. Yeah. Like, oh man, I, just I, I will show you the photo later. We can show this. No, the, no, no, but no. I will show We're you We're going to have to pull that one up for sure. Anyway. Absolutely for sure. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of questions coming in right now. I'm going to try and catch up. Uh, never have I ever... Oh, come on, guys. From Dilo, Dion... Killeen, never have I ever forgotten my headphones on a live stream. That's a shit question. No, I don't like, like it. today, you mean? Yeah. Sigma didn't use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it actually you know what? That's a mad flex. I can DJ without headphones. That's a mad flex. Uh, man, honestly, are you not sick of those DJs like, oh yeah, let me put them both? <laughs> Man, it, you, you can beat the match in half a second and that's it. Yeah, I like I to be in the groove though. I like to, because I like to have them on, so I like to be in the groove. Be in the moment, be in the sound. 
we want to DC. No, we, but we, we, me and him, we never for, forgot anything on, on stage or whatever. Apart but from I, USB I, and I know, I, I know someone who did, and it's in our label, and it's not me and him. So it's an only me one, Malice. <laughs> <laughs> Davide, shout out to you for uh, always shout forgetting. Uh, I, think <laughs> I think he changed like four times headphones or USB. <laughs> but uh, you're gonna, you're gonna play here. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, we can yeah. organize it. Yeah, we, 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 ha we have, uh, we have. No, wait, we. You have to have uh, malice here. Oh, definitely, definitely. I think. Chat, chat, if you want, if you want malice, spam off malice in the chat. Spam malice, spam malice in, in the, the chat. Right now, go away in now. The chat. We want malice in the chat. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> hey man, it's, it's, it's the gunshots, yeah. the gunshots keeping it real. Uh, we're keeping uh, rolling with the questions what you want to know the answers to people in the chat. Uh, the theme is never have I ever. We're gonna ask Ruler and Sick Mode uh, these questions. Um, coming in from, um, oh geez, there's quite a few coming in now, so I'm kind of spoiled for choice. Coming in from Corey Kate, uh, shout out to transport crew from Hard Island. Never have I ever had a major disagreement when, uh, with a collab. Have you ever had a fight when working uh, in a collab? Him. Oh, just in general, either of you when you've been nah, collaborating with someone me, and just me kind and of- him like every time. <laughs> I, I was about to say no, but I think- <laughs> Come on, I, say, I, say I, the truth. I don't think we are on the same level. <laughs> no, uh, man, say the truth, come on. No, uh, well, between me and, and Sigmol or me and Malice when they were still together, I think sometimes like uh, styles change, you know, for time, but in the end, we always made it work. Collabs in the- What? Kitchen. Oh yeah. oh yeah, listen, listen, that's something I want to touch on a little bit uh, later because I find that's a really, really interesting story. I want to dive into a little bit more of your history and your experiences and, and all that sort of thing. When I was speaking with, uh, with Sick Mode off, uh, off camera, we talked a little bit about uh, you guys ending up working on a track in the kitchen. And, uh, in, in my living room, yeah, yeah. So that was, that's a really interesting story that I want to it's, jump into it's, a little not, bit later. It's not even the most absurd, to be honest. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, I mean, we have so many funny stories. <laughs> and, and I really want to dive into them just after we answer a few more questions that have been coming in yeah. from the chat. Never have I ever uh, eaten or puked after eating a tomato. That comes in from oh, MG228. Oh, Sick mode, please. No, 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 you, one. it's your story. So basically there was a, I stream on Twitch and uh, once I had Sick mode um, as a guest, and I'm always really nervous with Sick mode because we have to have like high standards, you know, we want to stream the best and everything. So I I, ask the so I, I'm first. looking at your face and you're kind of like, you're saying it, but it feels a little bit sarcastic oh, and no, disgenuous. No, no, no. no it, it was all live, so I have nothing to hide. Okay. Um, and uh, you, uh, he had to pay me. It's, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. All, all the income from that stream I went half of it. Okay, imagine, uh, okay. imagine. Yeah. Where's my money, guys? <laughs> business, business. Uh, anyway, um, well, long story short, basically, uh, people started to donate and say, "Hey, take a shot." So uh, a few shots later, I was on the floor, and um, and we decided to do a meme reaction. So we were watching memes. We love memes. Yeah, of course. And uh, and. I fucking hate tomatoes, man. Dude, I generally really, I, but you're well, Italian, pomodoro. Yeah, I know. On the dude, I, I hate to chew it. Has oh, a shit okay. Hey, okay. I, okay. No, wait, wait, wait. You like tomato? You don't like raw tomato? So when is? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. So basically, the the thing is, if if I laugh, I have to eat a tomato, which happened, and I vomited. <laughs> I vomited. I'm not. Pr I'm not proud of it, but I, I don't care. You know, I, I generally don't like tomatoes. That's it. Soup. There you go. There you go. So if you want to upset uh, ruler, feed him a raw tomato, and that's his. I'll literally, that I'll literally punch you. That of course, <laughs> sea of Twitch. I'm joking. I'm not really. I'm not I associate mean. myself from. Yeah, I don't know. No, no. <laughs> I don't mean Everything. it, I don't mean it, I'm joking. Superman, Superman has kryptonite, but you have raw tomato. Um, okay, coming in with some more questions uh, from the chat. Uh, ooh, this, some of these are a little bit strange. Uh, as I scroll through them, I'm seeing a lot of uh, malice spammed in the chat. Uh, nope. Coming in from Berba Fisser again, uh, never have I ever done a cop roll. So you know what's a cop roll? <laughs> It's a Dutch word for a head spin, like you have to do. Oh, like the like dude, the, I, the forward roll. Dude, so it was a thing on, on my Twitch. It was a kind of a meme. Like they could, like with rewards point, they could ask my girlfriend to do a copro on on Twitch, <laughs> and the meme kept going at the point that headhunters made a copro because <laughs> of me. I I I, I, was, I was streaming and I said, okay, Chad, I'm gonna raid headhunters, and all you have to do is say copro, and he did a fucking copro. <laughs> he I, did I, it really. I had headhunters doing a copro. That's hate. Sick eye. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> That's heap sick eye. Pun uh, Trent from Punching in the Chap. Um, okay, another one coming in from Jaden Rin. Uh, never have I ever ate food from the floor. Oh, damn. It, there's the five rule second. F right. Yeah, five, five yeah, second five rule. Five Come on. Is that is? What about past the five second rule? I don't care, man. Don't care, <laughs> oh, shit. Pizza. And have you ever eaten Dutch food? It's like the same thing. Oh, shit. Oh, oh damn. Oh. Damn. <laughs> 
No, oh, but I agree, I agree with you, Rulo. I dissociate myself, but I agree no, with you. No, no, don't, don't dissociate yourself, man. Damn! I'm honestly, e eating a fricandel or eating something on the floor, it's the same thing. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> so, sorry for that. Uh, uh, Netherlands just spied me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sick mode and Rulo just like throwing their uh, man, host country under the bus. <laughs> Absolutely I mean, hating on Dutch honestly, food. Wait, you, you like the food? Uh, I generally cook, uh, all my girlfriend cooks, and uh, so I predominantly eat wait, the food that I prepare wait, or she prepares. So. Your girlfriend is German. Yes, but what she cooks she cooks recipes that I come up with. Ah, okay, because oh, okay. Germans also cannot cook. <laughs> <laughs> I dissociate myself again, <laughs> but uh, I agree in the same thing. Guys, guys, I think we can all agree that Italians are the best. Uh, uh, well, well, I'm sure the French oh, people have got okay. something to say for that. Oh my gosh, uh, the chat's turned hostile. They were with man, you. The man. chat was with you, yeah, and now they're going against Honestly, you. Honestly, man, you said we French, should, we French. We should do tutorials on aggressive records. Yeah, but how to cook things. French people cook good, man. They, they eat snails, man. What are you talking about? Hey, what? Hey, I, I, I thought you I'm guys were open-minded. You guys I'm are playing joking. such an open-minded set, playing music from here, there, everywhere, house music, okay. up-tempo, raw. Yeah. And I thought you were a little bit more open-minded. I thought you would be able to, you know, just smash some S cargo. S what happened? Spoiler alert, I'm joking. Please don't DM me uh, <laughs> insults. I, I'm just joking. Well, I mean, I mean, you have I mean, say the magic okay. word. You have to dissociate yourself if you want. Uh, yeah, there's this thing on Twitch. If you say something bad, you can say, no, me dissociate. I dissociate myself. I, dissociate. No, no, right, I don't so mean it. I don't mean so it. Yeah. Hands up. I don't mean it. <laughs> it was in the moment. It was funny. It was a joke. It's for, it's for, the, it's for the cam. Of course, we're it's joking. Exactly. I, I love German food. I love Dutch food. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we, uh, for the people that have just tuned in, where the hell have you been? You've missed some fantastic sets uh, from Ruler and Sick Mode. Uh, now we're just having a moment to be able to catch up and chill out with these guys. Um, and so we've got a bit more of a serious question that I want to get into uh, because people have kind of calmed down with the Never Have I Evers. So this question comes in from James One and it's not about having a man. It's at which point in your life did you decide that you wanted to be a producer? <laughs> Damn. That's so I, I illegally download. Of course, I'm joking. I mean, <laughs> I know I download that for Suda. I install it on his PC, and we started together. I think it was t late 2009. Um, but we, we didn't mean to be. We just were having fun. I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I also. Uh, it's a mix of things. I didn't like my old uh, job in. Uh, what job, man? You never worked in your life. Oh, true, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> you never had a single job in your I life. Don't <laughs> lie to the people. You, ne <laughs> you never worked in your life. Come on, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you. You worked for like a month and he's like, yeah, back in the days when I was working. <laughs> he, he never worked in his whole life. <laughs> no, but uh, I think, I think, I don't know, man. Like we, we don't think it's a like a, a job for us. We generally love what we do. Yeah. Right. But with that said, like there was, there would have been a certain point that you were kind of like, okay, I'm messing around with stuff. This is actually really fun. I want to do more of this, and this is going to be my focus. But you, you mean in a professional way? Yeah. Let's go with that. I think when we did a uh, when when. I well, think when we started, when we started uh, aggressive, aggressive acts, yeah, uh, exactly. the first uh, Malice and Ruler, when it was still Malice, yeah. uh, we we're doing collapse, and the Dutch people were playing them at festivals. Then we understood the, yeah. the gravity of the situation. They mm. were doing already hits, but for me it was like that. But for them it was a, uh, yeah, it's been uh, years now. 2014 for you, and 2015, 16 for me. Um, That's when you decided, okay, now uh, this we, shit is serious. Yeah, but we've been producing for way more before. It's just True. never really professional, never uh, with you. Well, just like you said, for just for a fun at home. But we still have fun, really, man. Yeah, uh, sure. But but honestly, uh, producing wise, I think when when our tracks were, I, I remember in 2016, Aggressive X was playing s like five times a festival all the time. Yeah, and that that's delete uh, was playing that with the album that I uh, know oh with uh, you mean Aggressive X, yeah, Aggressive the track. X the track. Oh yeah, everywhere, even in the supermarket, the, the uh, radio, and this kind of stuff. And everyone was like, uh, and I, I still don't understand why because it's a shitty track. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Throwing yourselves under the bus, but, damn! But, but uh, I dissociate myself. Again. <laughs> but we, we, we did the track when, when he didn't have a desk, so we made it on the floor. Seriously? You guys were working on the floor? Well, Dude, we, 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 we weren't full of money back in the days. Oh, break! Well, not that we're rich now, but like back in the I days, we were really. I remember that time we had to do aggressive vect. The, 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 album, album, the, the album, the album, right? <laughs> and we had like 300 euro <laughs> in the pocket. Yeah, yeah, we had nothing. No house. We, we made it in and a garage. We made it in a garage with a really bad acoustic. Damn. And 
like was so bad. I mean I mean if you hear if you hear the music from aggressive ad you can understand that it was made in a garage but true. I <laughs> think I think uh, it's all about creativity we, we, we that, that was the only choice we had so for sure uh, us three we I think yeah that was that was what we wanted to do so then this is a great segue into the next question that comes in from Corey Kate um, if you weren't a DJ and producer what kind of career or job would you have instead what would you be doing I would Work in an office. I love computers, man. Okay, so would you work as like IT kind I, of support? I think, I or? Think, no, no, no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, I think I would be a video maker. Okay. I, I, I did it before. Okay. Before being a being a producer, I was a video yeah, maker. Pretty much. I am a video maker. Yeah, so yeah. So. Actually, fun fact: Sigma does all the, the videos for uh, aggressive uh, no, records. Fun fact: he, he he doesn't do anything for aggressive records. Fun fact: Sef, Fun fact: Sefa did nothing on anything. So <laughs> that's, that's how it is. No, but. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I, I guess I guess we never really had the choice. We really love what we do, I guess, and um, I guess I'm keeping saying I guess because I don't really know. At no, this but point. surely there's a certain thing that like what you were doing yeah, beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've got to turn. It <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's even my phone. Um, <laughs> You want you want mine? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Just getting messages out of nowhere. The chat, people are spamming me DMs, all that kind of thing. What? I, what? I, I mean, before you started taking music seriously, there was something that you were doing before that. Um, what were you doing? I was working in a factory. Um, I, I wouldn't even know how to translate that to English, but basically, I was doing the same job all day, every day, like uh, little uh, building stuff for like hospitals, uh, yeah. uh, oxygen stuff. Oh wow. No, no, wow, it's not, it's not wow. I mean, it man. sounds impressive. <laughs> no, I, I was doing it for the money, man, because my mom forced me and uh, I had no choice. Um, otherwise, my bank account was zero and uh, I, I hated the job with all my heart. I think everybody has had one of those experiences, at least one where they've kind of been grinding away at a job that they really hate. Before uh, you were taking music uh, full time and uh, really putting your all into it, what were you doing? Music. Uh, like nothing. I was really, really poor. Like really, yeah. really, really poor. Yeah, but I mean, how were you getting your bread? I don't know. I just had a little PC and I just say, okay, let's do it. I was really... Bad. So right from high school, at the end of high school, I straight did, into did, music. Did, I didn't, didn't finish school. You didn't even finish school? I didn't, I didn't study anything. Oh my gosh. And, uh, no, yeah, you, you did graphic I design. Did you just didn't, you graphic just didn't finish. Yeah, I didn't finish. I didn't put effort on that because uh, like... I always want to be a, no, you know, a, a DJ and a producer. So, that I mean, that's cool. That like at an early age, you already had that drive and you already had that grind yeah, I, I to had be a able fight to. With my one of my teacher, I almost punched him in the face because he laughed when I say I want to be a DJ. Wow! And he say, "Ha ha ha!" and they punch in the face and they just left the school. I mean, which, which we, of course we don't. And I dissociated myself don't from do the that. punch. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Twitch. It's not something we encouraged you to do, but absolutely, that's what happened to us. I mean, uh, look I mean. to to reflect on that. Uh, my own experiences in high school were kind of similar. I was the only kid in the school that liked electronic music when I said this is what I wanted to do. The yeah, your music teacher you, was you, like, you, yeah, no. You, you cannot really blame anyone because back in the days, I don't know you, but the music that I was doing when I was in school, it was pathetic. It was really bad if I listen to it now. So I can imagine that from a, someone else's perspective, like, oh, it's already hardstyle, so it's really weird. But plus it sounds also bad. So mm -hmm. like, I can't really blame them for laughing at, at me or whatever. Right. But uh, yeah. You have to understand, like Dutch people are, are really lucky in that sense because there's more culture, rave culture, music culture. For sure. In Italy, man, like we try for a lot of time to yeah. get bigger I in Italy. Yeah, in Italy, it's just not not how it is, it man. Like we, um, I I always say that, and uh, I don't want to uh, lick his ass or anything, but I have huge respect for him because he never. I mean, I mean, he had a few jobs, like for a few weeks, whatever, but he always only did music, so. Uh, Malice, uh, David uh, and me was like a bit different because we had a full time job, so we had to switch. You know, I was doing music at night, man. I was like sleeping like four or five hours a night to make music. Oos. I did, I did my 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 best old tracks when I uh, I was pretending to be sick in the middle of summer from jobs like, hey, I'm sick, I have fever in the middle of summer. <laughs> I was doing music, man. I couldn't care less. That's awesome, though. That's awesome. It's it's great to hear about your motivation and drive. You know, like back in the early days of like, okay, you know what, fuck work. I'm going to do what I believe in. I'm going to do what I'm passionate yeah, about and really put that energy. No, you have to follow your dreams. This, this Absolutely. Is, this is also work now, but honestly, I think the drives that makes us a little bit different, it's that we honestly, man, we, in a way, we don't have a choice. We, I don't want to go back to Italy and, and do that life again, never ever mm. in my life anymore. 
Mm. With that all said and done, I want to talk a little bit about like uh, a positive experiences yeah, that yeah, you guys we, have we, had. Let's not continue. With yeah, the exactly, exactly. Yeah. So let's switch gears yeah, and, yeah. And, and focus on positive experiences because this is uh, HSU broadcasting live from Amsterdam. I want to talk a little bit about your uh, best experiences that you've had in Australia. Dude, I, literally every time. Every time. Agree. Every time it's like the first time. I oh, agree, I agree. Legit. I, miss, <laughs> I, miss I, I know you were doing for the meme, but legit every time it's like the first time. Yeah, legit. Mm. I miss I miss Australia a lot. I a lot. Yeah, I'd, ima I'd imagine now, particularly because of uh, you know, lockdowns, travel is restricted and all that sort of stuff. Uh and getting in, I think Australia officially Australia's borders are closed. Uh, you it's, can't it's, really go. Well, it's, but it's also, it's also difficult even without COVID to get to Australia. I, I mean it's it's a complicated process. Right. I, I really respect Australia for that, but like even the travel there is like a pain in the ass. But like the reward when you get there it's like I told you before it's like being in a movie for me for sure yeah for sure I mean just, just look around I'm like man uh, this looks the skyscrapers the way the people it's, are it's just really different from uh, from uh, Europe absolutely I, I mean I, for, for people that have for the Aussies that have traveled to Europe they notice it's a different vibe but uh, there, there, is, there is some place in Italy also that is really yeah, 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 amazing oh, yeah, yeah of course but really not, similar to no no but the, the social structure like the street that, I don't know it's just a different type of uh, well, talk life. about the mood so yeah, yeah, yeah the mood the mood is way different so then let's talk about your first time. <laughs> let's talk about the first time that you went to Australia. What were you expecting? What fulfilled your expectations? And then what was different from what you had in the picture in your mind? Okay, it was uh, August 2016. It was with uh, Shane, which I, uh, of course, uh, agreed for uh, booking me back in the days uh, from Noise Vision. And um, yeah, dude, uh, I, it, was, it was weird for me because... Man, I, I, I made my music in my underwear, in my, in my bedroom, and I, some, at some random point I was in Australia. I was with Igor Unresolved and, um, and Tommy Knocker. And it, was, uh, it was really, de really, really decent travel, actually, and uh, the experience was awesome. And also, um, what was really weird for me, um, that like the, the lineup was not hardstyle, 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 hardcore. It was like... Hardcore up tempo, hardstyle up tempo. Mm. Like they don't have the type of thing. Uh, the know. the lineups are yeah, the, less the, the, uh, rigid as they, they, they are they as in Europe. No, they have the same in France. Like if you play in France, you can like play after up tempo, after psy trance, before psy trance, and nobody really cares mm. about it. Yeah, it's a it's a good thing that Dutch people don't have. But I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just different. Mm. So I was really impressed by the fact that uh, Shane with his alias he played up tempo, and then after me, uh, and then after him, I played. Hard style at 155 BPM, so I was like, that's really cool. cool. It's new. Yeah, yeah that would have been a, a very interesting experience. Uh, tell us about your first time in Australia. I expect the giant spiders. And <laughs> yeah, like that. that's, that's I what they always say. Anything. Yeah, right? I, 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 I see so I many see memes. Oh, you, you, spiders you, in Australia. You expect kangaroos on the street, but that's not what no, happened. This <laughs> it's actually disappointed, <laughs> if I can say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was pretty, like said, I said, I love spiders, so I wanted really to see giant spiders, like this table, man. Like <laughs> we, we all monsters. We, 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 only, say, okay. we only saw spiders at the zoo. They were insanely big, but that's the zoo. Like insanely big, it was like that. Well, it's bigger than my hand. Dude, that's not a big spider. Okay. Uh, I, sp I don't know. I expected okay, something more. Okay, they were not too big. I'm no, so uh, okay. I'm I'm so big, sorry. not too big. I don't know. <laughs> that's what she said all the way. All right, question coming in from the chat. Uh, this one is going to both of you from a Smoke Grooves. What were your musical influences before hardcore music? Greetings from Madrid. I guess he just means like uh, hardcore, hardstyle in general. Whoa. Oh, that was not... Uh, honestly, man, I always listen to hardstyle. Mm. I've been listening to Arsenal for so many years. It's my years. fault. That, yeah, come on. Get that, get that mic. Make love to the mic. That's it's your friend. It's my fault. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been listening to Arsenal nonstop for like, I don't know, now 14 years. But I got to say that I started as like, a, okay, only Arsenal. And now I'm getting uh, more towards it. Got it. So only Arsenal for me. Okay. Back in the days. Back yeah. in the days, it Be was before, just... Before that, I was like... Uh, Rock, pop, rock, like yeah, that type like of rap. Uh, a lot of rap. rap yeah, and really. Yeah, American rap. American rap. Also yeah, Italian, Italian rap. No, now Italian rap. Back in the days, no. No, yeah, it was Fabri Fibra and all that. Kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, mostly of, rap. Yeah. Dro drop, drop some artists uh, for people in the chat so they can kind of do a little bit of research into uh, ruler, what made you Sigmund you. Ruler, Sigmund, Ruler, <laughs> Ruler, Sigmund uh, search on internet. Ruler, hey. Sigmund hey. No, uh, some Ruler hip hop Wittu. artists and, and and stuff like Tupac. We're talking Biggie, or we're talking oh American. Yeah. yeah. Uh, man, why you ask so much? <laughs> no, rolling, uh, rolling with the questions. Well, maybe maybe it, it will sound a little bit cliche, but honestly, I mean, um, also Biggie for sure. Sure. Um, 
50 Cent back in the days when he did a candy dun, shot. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that, that, that was the, the days. Scott Storch on the production. Love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, legit, man. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Dude, it's, it's, it was sexy music. I, I, I loved grew, it. I grew up with that. Now, now, I think me and him, we really like Italian uh, trap. Like, yeah. a lot. More, more than, uh, than, than we did before. Because mm. yeah. it's, it's a thing now. Do you think it's because, like, th the style at the time when you were into it was, like, uh, just not what you were vibing or it like, wasn't very well produced or was it because like is it because I was 13 man hey I had no musical experience that, there you go that's it yeah. that's it uh, one uh, another question coming in from the chat coming in from uh, Jack Ow 220 would you guys collab with an industrial artist like the Satan what are your views Sa on industrial Satan is a chill guy his music is weird but uh, he's a really chill guy yeah I've never he met knows. him yeah it's nice but I, I enjoy his music he actually looks like his, uh, his mask which is not an insult it's actually really dope <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's not true what, what he's got a big red forehead and yeah. he's got some horns coming out <laughs> it's not a, it's not uh, an I insult I dissociate myself no, again no, sorry but Twitch. why it's not an insult <laughs> I mean it's good man, okay. it's not a good okay. thing to say Sam, <laughs> Sam my man I was joking don't worry about it of course of course like I said nothing shout out to the Satan yeah I love I love his kick anyway I really love that kind of crunchy <laughs> distortion and um, stuff I love his music so. but but in that industrial it's, it's indeed really good uh, honestly man like I think when it comes to like uh, col collaborations a lot of people would like me you or whatever to collaborate with other people but I think sometimes it's nice to just enjoy other people's music uh, without necessarily I, I completely com agree with that mm. I, I, I like I, I'm in contact with like atmospheres these people like that and like oh when well, you should you should do a collab I'm like no man I just honestly enjoy atmospheres music I don't think it's necessary to True. mix it True. that brings an interesting point because I see that quite a lot uh, with on hardstyle uh, forums and in uh, discords and all that sort of thing where uh, fans would be like oh you know I really want a collaboration from such and such and such and such no, but they make sense because in, in, in their little uh, um, war they would love to see more artists collabing but it's not always mandatory also, like, it's really hard to combine styles well, because some, it, sometimes yeah. it doesn't fit at all. So Look, if, if me and you sit in the studio and we feel the vibe, then maybe something can happen. But Different what story. if, or not, the, the people really want me and you to collab and then we come out with nothing? Then, mm, it's, then it's disappointing. I don't think it's uh, mandatory to do collab. You mean like uh, just need to happen? Yeah, that's it. That's, that's the best way I mean, to do collapse. One right. thing that I've seen from the from the hard style crowd is that they are uh, very. Um, actually in, in terms of the artists, very collab happy. Whereas in trance, for example, or EDM, it's not so much as to the same extent. It I does happen, of course, I, I but do, no. I do think in Hearthstone, they, they, they really collab happy when it comes Hearthstone to Hearthstone. Actually, they, they are not so enthusiastic when, when they mix Hearthstone with something else. Mm. Like for example, when Joy did uh, the track with Yellow Claw, that was a hit, yeah. but that, that's because the track is really good, but it's, uh, if you, if me, we, me and him like, like to other type of music as well, not necessarily trap or rap or whatever, but like, if we want to collaborate with someone that is not into hardstyle, for the hardstyle crowd, it's, it's different because you always have to give them the doom, doom, the, the kick, you know, instead yeah. sometimes it's, uh, it's not all about that. Right. Like not always. Mm. I mean, no, well, people expect it. People expect, but expect it makes, kicks from us. yeah, it makes sense that they expect, but. It's hard to combine genres. Sometimes it is. Sometimes yeah. it's well. Uh, I, I try like uh, with Sigma project. Every time I try to make love to the man. Everything yeah, together. Yeah. So I already do that. Mm. So most of the time I don't need collabs because I already yeah, do yeah, this yeah. myself. Yeah. Also with bootlegs, you do joy. Yeah, like bootlegs. bootlegs they work fine. Edit, whatever. But that's because you started from zero already with that. Like yeah. Yes. For example, for me, like I come from a back in the days I did dark. Now I do more a little bit commercial. But it's hard to like always create new vibes or whatever because. In the end, y your hardstyle crowd, yeah, you can have open-minded people, but still, it's you always have to find a little compromise, which... Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a bad thing. It's just the work of the producer is to uh, find the right way. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, before we move on, I just want to ask a, a very simple request. Um, these mics are a little bit uh, funny. Use the proximity effect as much as you can. Put your face... Yeah, like this. Like this. Yeah, okay. beautiful, beautiful. All right, question coming in from the chat, coming in from uh, James One again. Uh, did you guys play any instruments growing up? <laughs> well, uh, that's not the reaction that I would expect the from, from the, the question the that I asked about instruments. <laughs> the flute? <laughs> the clarinet? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I guess in school, in Italy, it's uh, mandatory to, to uh, do the, the flute. 
Okay. Well, or either flute, the flute? Or, or, or piano. Yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah, in, in schools, school. yeah. Yeah. Really? Well, you, could, you have to decide either piano I don't or make, flute. make no sense, but <laughs> yeah. But you couldn't like, oh, I'm not feeling the flute, I'm not feeling the piano, I want to do the trumpet, saxophone? No, well, you, you can, no, but we never Yeah, do it. it doesn't work like that. No, you <laughs> can, you can. No. Well, if, if you, no, I, f I think you, you can start with piano, but then you, if you go to music school, you can do whatever you want. Ah, uh, okay, that's that a little sense. bit different. But, but, in, but in school? You, we, we, have, uh, we have music as a subject and, um, and it's flute or piano, really. Yeah, that's literally it. Wow. And so, but no, no. Which one of you did the flute? I did the flute. I really? Did the flute. Yeah. Both of you did the flute. It's useless. <laughs> it's, it's useless. I mean, I can oh, create if uh, you, if you, kicks if you, with the flute, but if you, if you do trap, then it makes sense. But no. Oh, no, absolutely, no. man! Shout out to WeeWack. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, all right. So I've got a couple of things that I uh, uh, want to ask as well uh, to you guys, and I think these are sort of interesting questions. Um, what would be your stripper track? My one? Yeah, so if you're a stripper and you go out onto the, the podium. Oh, stripper. Yeah, and then your song, your track that is going to be the one while you dance. GPF stripper. <laughs> that's the one. Too hot. Too, 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 hot. too hot. That's that's what you'd expect. You know, yeah, yeah, also. You know, no, 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 never mind. Can we take it do it again? Okay, what would be your stripper track? Sick Modern Ruler, Too Hot. Uh, too, too Hot, guys. Uh, too Hot. Uh, it's out on Spotify, by the way. Uh, uh, I don't want to text, I but don't <laughs> dissociate <laughs> myself. No, so no, no. Actually, we really agree on that one. Uh, too Hot. I mean, I was expecting something. Too Hot. Uh, uh, I really like say Too Hot. <laughs> I don't know. Or, or okay. careless, don't know. careless Whisper. I was expecting something like, you know, some classic like ACDC or some some sort of hair metal thing, you know. What kind of stripper club do you go to? Ah, uh, I mean, maybe they're older girls, I don't know. Oh, the red lights in Amsterdam, do, do they play a CDC? Really? Yeah, hey, oh, sometimes, it depends, I I they come know. out. They, they should play too hot to maybe. Dude, Las Vegas, <laughs> you hear it, you hear it a lot in Las Vegas, you hear that classic hair metal kind of thing, back in black, dun, 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 and then they start going around the pole and everything, I'm like, yeah. I, no? don't, I don't have money to spend on uh, strippers. <laughs> I honestly, I can have Sigma strip for me, and I will give him money. Honestly, man. Maybe that's a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit fat. So to answer your question, yeah, I had men in my life. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, to throw this one back at the chat, if you want to see uh, Sick Mode stripping, uh, can we get some? Not uh, on Twitch. Not on Twitch. Not I on Twitch. Yeah, myself. We, we can get like banned. Really we can't. We can't. Well, Actually, you get banned. I don't care. You strip. I don't care. Uh, no. Fuck. No. I, no. no it's, but it's all in the chat. You don't worry. You do don't it. worry. It's, it's all okay. in the chat. It's we okay. need the we need the chat to really bring this because if 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 there's no interaction, if people are chilling at home and they're just kind of like whatever, then there's no point. You know, just like when you've got to you know put twenty bucks in you, her you, g string. You gonna do that with me? Look, uh, if you, maybe give, me, if you give me the cash, I will do that with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to spend my cash. You heard it. So whatever you, wh all the subscribers that have come in today, uh, if we get even more subscribers, all that money is going to go to Sick Mode and Ruler as they dance sounds, and sounds, shake their booty. Sounds, sounds like a charity thing, but no, it's not. It's Sick Mode dancing. <laughs> Which no, we want to see. Sick Mode dancing, man. Uh, this is exactly okay, what we see. Okay, then Mel is doing break dance. I okay, don't know and next dance. time for uh, Mel is uh, need to uh, dance. We got to do some bucks. <laughs> Why not, man? Do you have one of those uh, tiger bikinis? Tiger man uh, G-strings? <laughs> Dude, I, I, uh, like the way that I, I, do, I wasn't expecting this kind of reaction. I was like, if somebody doesn't have it, they say no right away. When they giggle, then the answer is like, yeah, actually. No, honestly, I honestly have to think because maybe I have it. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, maybe. I, I, I don't. But, but I <laughs> <laughs> it, it is fun because. No, I have a photo. You've got. No, no, no. I have it. No, 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 no. I have it. Exactly. Oh, it. Oh, we shot off camera. Off I mean. Camera. Um, it's really bad. We, no, we can show this thing on uh, on Twitch. We was, can't. Uh, no. But I have it, man. I have you naked with a really, really oh, sexy the one, thing. The one, the one from Borat, but red instead of green, red. Yeah, we, and all sparkly, something like that. Yeah, but that was a nice. Sparkly yeah, G-string. But, uh, but I can vibe that. That, that one is alright. <laughs> but like vibe. You know, uh, what made me laugh at first is like <laughs> my. <laughs> I never buy underwear or stuff like that. My mom for my birthday, she always had me like 10 or 15. Of course. I, I've been wearing the same type of underwear for like years because my mom bought, bought, bought me the stuff for my birthday. Shout out to all the DJ moms out there. She's like, what do you want for, for your birthday? I'm on and underwear. It's all right. We're, we're good at it. Also started. socks. I love socks. Dude, I have like uh, the Fritz, the McDonald's socks right now. Are you serious? <laughs> Dude. We have to step up the socks game, man. In the Netherlands, it's not a thing, man. No, I, I, I'm on the plane black. I, I, I had, um, I performed at DEF CON uh, uh, 2000, uh, what was that? 2090 with the Lidl socks from the supermarket. <laughs> and people were like laughing. I was like, what the fuck are you laughing at? Man, it's socks. 
<laughs> little socks? Are you dude, serious? Yeah. Dude, honestly, me and him, we, we predicted the little thing because we were like, it has become a meme. And it has. Everyone become a was meme. laughing at us when uh, when we were like saying little Jumbo, Albertine. <laughs> look at look at everyone's now struggling to to get their fucking little shoes. <laughs> I have them, man. I have them. I'm proud, man. I have a lot of socks with uh, my girlfriend. Face. Oh yeah, I love oh. them. Are you I serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go with uh, yeah, yeah. my girlfriend. M on my Mish socks. <laughs> Mish socks. Yes. <laughs> Michelina. Michelina. Shout out to Mish. Shout out to Mish in the chat. Mish today. Okay, I've just seen something pop up in the chat. Uh, it's been spammed a couple of times, so I feel like I need to ask you guys about this. Okay. Um, uh, coming in from MGB228. Um, tell me about Chris Jumper. <laughs> oh fuck my life. Well, well, you well, piece well. of shit, man. <laughs> you chat. I fucking hate you, man. <laughs> right, right. No, I, I'm not ashamed anymore of it. I'm not, not shy. So what's, uh, tell us the story, for, because this is new. I don't know anything about this. You're going to have to introduce the whole story to me. Some people obviously know in the chat they want to trigger you, but I don't no, know no, anything. No. What, what is, what's the story with Chris Jumper? Well, I, I think he's a we, priest now, for, first of all. I don't know why. What? What's it? You're talking about was Chris Jumper like what? Uh, before before uh, being a DJ, I was dancing jump style. You were dancing jump style. Yeah, me and him, oh, both yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, Chris, yeah, Chris true. Jump. Yeah, my name was Chris Jumper. Oh, don't, don't look on YouTube. It's all private. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. don't even bother we to search. Search. We're, we're Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we follow that guy that call it like uh, Patrick. Patrick Jumper. Jumper. Yeah, and yeah. Now, yeah, now he's a priest for real, man. Oh, yeah. serious? He's a priest. Yeah. Oh, Patrick. Patrick. I heard about this guy. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't heard the name, but yeah, we we follow him a lot. If it wasn't here. If it wasn't for him, now we wouldn't be here, man. Patrick Jumpin was the thing back in the days. For real, man. Pa yeah, I mean, uh, uh, like almost like 10, maybe a little bit more years ago, he was a thing. Uh, what's it called? I know it was that a 9, 10, yeah. Yeah, and then Headhunters had some sort of beef with Patrick Jumpin or something. It's, it's kind of oh, yeah, a little no, bit funky. I, think, I, I, think I don't remember that. It's a, it's a little bit strange. But so, so Chris Jumper was... Uh, it was you, my jump style name. Your jump style name. Hey, everybody has raver names back in the days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I... I, I I, I used to be ashamed of that because I, I honestly, man, jump style has never been really a thing. It was, I don't know, it was, it's not like break dance that it's like worldly accepted. Now it jumps You say that, but then I've seen a no, couple I, I know, of, I I know, I know. of clips on, on, on Instagram yes. now of like ravers doing the jump style. Yes, now. But we did it like <laughs> 11 years ago. Right. So we, we were going uh, on the, uh, the streets in Genoa like, in Italy and we were like more. dancing. Even more like, uh, I think. No, 2009, 12, 10. 30, man. So, yeah. Make love to yeah, the mic. Have to put a, yeah. Make love to the mic. No, but the second one, uh, also Malice, we were uh, dancing a uh, jump style. Well, but we always, in, in, in the art style that's music. That's how we came yeah, in touch. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, me, me and him, we discovered we, we live really close, like five minutes away from each other, uh, but only because of YouTube, because I was seeing his videos that it was nearby my house. I was like, hey, well, let me text this guy. His name was Attack. So, <laughs> ah, so not only Chris Jumper, this, Attack. This, no, uh, this I, explains there, there so much. Nothing, like, there is nothing on YouTube like anymore. Atta but no, no, there is. Attack Fit Chris. Is or yeah, there's still know. it's still there. It's still it's on your channel. Okay, anyway. don't go, please. No, don't. Uh, <laughs> don't. Uh, but anyway, anyway, we I, I DM DM name on uh, on YouTube, and that's how I met Sigma uh, back in. Uh, how about that? Two thousand seven eight. Jump style all over the world, bringing you two together. Yeah, <laughs> nice. no, I'm legit, dude. I'm I'm legit not ashamed anymore. Hey, you know what? It's part of your past. It's part of the, the things that brought you together and made you who you are today. Sometimes I'm you have grateful. cringe moments I'm and grateful. sometimes you sometimes you don't. Uh, the fact that you uh, used to be known as Attack explains so much because I see the chat going wild, just spamming Attack. And um, yeah, I was like, what the hell is yeah, happening? Do you, do, you, do you remember Tectonic, the dance? The, the, the thing no. that they now call Maz. It's tectonic. Oh, okay. Tectonic, man. The thing, and also, also the, 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 the shuffle thing, yeah. you know, the Melbourne shuffle. Right. That, that, dude, we, we had one of the world champions in, in, in Genoa from our True. city. Wow. Uh, Xerox. He was, a, he was a, a world champion of uh, Melbourne shuffle. I didn't even know they had competitions. Respect to that Sorry. guy. <laughs> no, kidding, but yeah, no, no, big time, man, big time. Uh, that's why when when I when we played in uh, in Melbourne, I was like, wait, are we playing for PhD? Like those people? Uh, and I'm like, dude, honestly, man, I grew up watching those videos. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah. That's a really insane, cool insane, throwback. Insane. The same people that, that they were spreading those videos about dancing. I was like, man, I love it. When I when and I, I think yeah, straight after that we started we started with music. Yeah. yeah, no, producing music. Uh, yeah, that was the same. Like yeah, yeah, because later. I think I think we were listening to the music. We were like, I think we can do something. And we were, uh, I think at first we were like copying a little bit, but not in the sense like, oh, we copy the same track, but we copy the structure. We tried to learn because back then, not not me and him, we had internet. 
<laughs> we had we, we had no internet connection. Wow. The, the first time he had internet connection when he moved to the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. Are exactly. you serious? Yeah, no yeah, joke. Yeah. How is that even possible? Dude, if, if I wanted to, to talk to him, I had to go to his house and uh, ring the, the doorbell. Did you have like cans and some string on either side? Pick up the can? Yes, yeah. yeah. sort of like <laughs> with pigeons. <laughs> no, but, no, but legit, man. We had no internet connection. So I, I started to have internet connection. Wait, wait a second. Something doesn't add up here because if you didn't have internet connection, how did you watch the Jumpstart videos? In the, with someone else's phone. Or no, stuff like dude, that. dude, using the, the, the phone uh, with, with the Bluetooth with the, with uh, connection. The 3G, Bluetooth, whatever. Yeah. Dude, and back in the days, Vodafone, it was so fucking expensive. Uh -huh. I, I, was, I was using a lot of uh, 3G. Uh, okay, now it makes sense. Now it do, makes sense. The picture is complete. Do you know what it, what it means to upload the, uh, YouTube videos on YouTube without an internet connection? I'm yeah, also using, using money. Money. Paying for that data. No, but also like... My friends had internet. I was going to them with a USB. Got it. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. okay. No, it's no. just you didn't have it, but uh, friends had it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so always. back back when internet cafes also, were a thing as well. Also, what, what what I'm really proud to say is non non me and him use, ever used tutorials for Apple Studio because we had no fucking way to watch tutorials. True. True. But that said, uh, and this is a great uh, link into the next question that comes in from Tom Kimpton, Endless Zero. Uh, have you ever considered doing a masterclass? I did. If you didn't have I, uh, I did. tutorials, you've done a masterclass already? I, I did with a harder class. Okay, and would you ever consider doing one? Uh, guys, a uh, couple of kicks of uh, Club Long, and for example, it literally my fart, so I have nothing to, to teach, you know, like. I, I, don't, like I don't believe that, no, uh, no, no yes, way. Yes, dude, dude. Yes. <laughs> I, can do, I can do a track when with you say, I don't believe that. I can do a whole track, legit. leads, screech, uh, kicks, yeah. distortion, the punch, chat, The challenge is on, you've got to remind uh, Sick Mode that he's got to take my vocal sample and make a track out of it, but I, I don't believe do that you can use the fart in man. a kick. You will never believe what we, what we did for uh, how to make music. Like, there was, there's some aggressive uh, tracks that it's literally David from Mali screaming, ah! Yeah, that, that no, for real, man. Like, no, yeah, because we were like, oh, what should we do today? Yeah, let's let David just scream to the microphone. I remember also the, the, the old manager, well, well, one time he sent me a message. He's like, listening to something. And we just sampled it. Yeah, sample. I did a fucking huge screech, like, work me out, put the work me out, like this with this voice. Okay, You are a producer, you know it's not too complicated. That's true. But but back in the days, it was a bit weird because everyone was like, how do you manage to do those screeches? Man, you will never believe it. The thing is that with a VST, you can't do it. You know what your, your mouth, your mouth is a synthesizer. That's true. Yeah, That's exactly. very true. So and also your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> uh, with that said, uh, what is the weirdest sample or sound that you've made a kick out of? And this one comes in from it's I more. I I, 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 really, I, I really, uh, You said you use a fart. I will. I will. But what is you you, you use a uh, dog barking? I remember the chihuahua. Like, wah, wah. Oh like yeah. Oh, that kind of makes sense. It. That's that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a stretch. Oh, what, what was the rapper that you use uh, to use the punch? Like ooh, like uh, no, Michael Jackson even. Uh, oh my, man, Michael Jackson gr oh, grunts, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Like, like, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> like that. You've used that in no, a he, kick. He I have I, a track and it's made with all this uh, yeah, kind yeah, yeah. of samples. with yeah. Michael Jackson samples. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But people don't know that because it's too distorted. It's too distorted. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, but that's part of the creativity that I really enjoy from you guys. Uh, when I listen to your sets and listen to your music, it sounds like there's uh, definitely you guys are having fun with it. Some yeah. tracks you hear from some producers that it's like, it's very, okay, I've got to do this. I need to write a it's certain thing. It's too polished, thing. too polished. Yeah, and also like, it, it sounds like um, they were just doing it because they had to do it, not because they had a lot of fun doing it, right? But when I listen to what you guys do um, individually, both of them uh, just sound like you're having a lot of fun making the music, which is a full credit to you guys. So if you're putting in dog samples or farts or whatever, Michael Jackson, I think that's, <laughs> that's freaking awesome. As yeah, as for, as for, for, my, for my next track, uh, AX uh, part two, I literally ripped his kick. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, fuck. dude, you, you know, I fucking hate him for that, but like, he released the first album, like uh -huh. I think uh, two years ago now in September or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. And I was one. listening on Spotify because he doesn't send demos to me. He just, he just released <laughs> stuff. So I listened to the track on Spotify. I'm like, wait, hold on, this is my kick. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, but not, not, even, not even try to hide it. It's literally my kick and I'm I like, I called him and I said, this is my kick. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> it was already on Spotify. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, they're all good, man. Go for well, it. Honestly, I like to see his reaction. <laughs> oh, really? Time, yeah, he told me like, dude, this reverse bass is so cool. I say, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so the new track, it was like, oh man, this, this sounds so good. He's like, yeah, that's because it's yours. Like, oh yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. <laughs> Doing it for the lulz, I love it. 
I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I wish we were lying, but honestly, we're yeah, not. So, so with that all said, uh, what is your position on when it comes to ripping samples and kicks and kicking bases and all that sort of stuff? Because back in the days, it used to be absolutely taboo. It used to be you could not do it. It, it would, couldn't even be a hint of a sample. The, the, the thing is, wait, wait, the thing is that uh, nowadays uh, it's useless rip kicks or rip uh, screeches because with the, the, the technology that we had, I can literally do a huge screech with m just saying "wow" and they can make yeah. You know, but wait, so it's useless rip. But do you, do you mean ripping from other producers or ripping from sample packs and shit? Uh, both, but mainly other producers. So other producers disgusting. Yeah, say, I, say it's horrible. Say, don't say, do it. No, no, no. I, 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 I completely no, no, no. agree. I, I really don't like this thing. Dude, dude. The thing is, the thing is, you, it's there's no there's no bad thing in like sampling in the hip hop scene. It's a thing. It's oh, absolutely. Been. Yeah. Like, I'm not ashamed to say that back in the days I, I used delete kicks, but they if you hear them now, you they wouldn't sound like delete. I changed them at the point that they yeah. sound like mine. Mm. There is nothing wrong in that, and it, it, sh it shouldn't be a taboo anymore. What is not correct. And this, it's for every type of music out there, not only Arsenal. In Arsenal, it's more. Mm. Mm. But dude, if I use your kick, like the one from Outlaw that we were talking before, right. I try to do the same, but I would never take your because that's your, man. Right. That's not fair. And the same, the same goes with vocals. Even if they're samples, there's a, there should be a little bit of respect. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it, it got lost. With a, I don't want to sound like an old, uh, old fart, but honestly, the, the respect got, got a little bit lost. And nowadays, people honestly don't care. Either they rip marketing ideas, Track ideas, kicks, vocals, they don't care. They just do it and they get views. Is that a bad thing or is that a good thing? Should it change or should it's it? It's absolutely shit. It's crap. No. Mm. Because I agree. It, it depends. Like if I rip like a, a, a little vocal from a rapper and I change everything. Yeah, so that is all that right. I create another sound and try to create something new. That is all right. That's in my opinion, it's not the bad. But to just for example, I rip your kick, I put your kick in my track. You spend maybe. Uh, one month on that kick, mm. you love that kick, I just rip it and I make money with your sounds. This is really bad. I prefer contact you and say, hey, can you just teach me how to do that? Or maybe I can just say, okay. can I pay you the kick? Yeah. Can I use it? Mm. You can say, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like this is, is a, this is the cool way, mm. but not just rip no, stuff. Sam right sam now. Sampling from sample packs, there's, there's, no, there's nothing wrong and uh, there shouldn't be a taboo if there's a taboo. Especially if you buy and uh, you can yeah, show that you bought it. Yeah, exactly. That. Honestly, man, exactly. Like, look, if, if let's say Frontliner did a, did a sample pack like yeah. so, some time ago. Yeah. I bought the sample pack. True. Those samples are mine. Mm. Easy yes. because I literally bought them. Of course, if I use the one on one kick, it doesn't it's not the best. But even then I can. But that is a different story. I didn't steal from liner sample. Got it. I literally gave him money for that. Got it. And same goes for a cashmere sample pack or whatever sample pack. Yeah, like literally like we, we bought literally everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Now, now now that we can afford now that it, we, we can we do buy it. it. It's yeah. I think it's a kind of respect. Like people that create VSTs and all the I bought everything. Yeah. It's yeah, a it's show my respect. Same. Mm. I make art with uh, his thing. So yeah. I have to buy that. Yeah. So with that, uh, I want to dive into a little bit about your uh, your background, where you came from uh, before you were known as uh, Sick Mode and uh, Ruler, before the attack and uh, Chris jumping. <laughs> uh, um, so because I think like uh, <laughs> when I was ten. <laughs> right. No, but I think that we were talking off camera a little bit about um, sort of the experiences, the trials and tribulations that you had to go through to get to where you're at, like um, how uh, you were sort of fighting against. Uh, expectations, people were telling you, um, you know, your musical idea of becoming a full-time DJ and producer was not. So tell us a little bit about those sorts of things that you had when you were I don't know, man. We just vibe, honestly. True, we, man. We, 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 don't really, we don't really care. I mean... No, but, but, but what I mean is, like, um, where, when you were making music, how you didn't have much. When we were talking about that, like beforehand, we are, we, we are hungry, man, to to make uh, to make uh, to make no hungry cool. hunger. We have uh, hang, hunger. You say, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm fat. I don't no. mean like that. Oh, come on, no, no, but we. I don't want to go back to that life. For sure. I, uh, so you didn't have much at all to start with. You were living well, in. I wasn't. I wasn't under the, a bridge. But honestly, man, like, what kind of life is to work from nine to seven in 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 that way. I mean, I have respect for people that do that and they're happy with it. Mm -hmm. But if you're unhappy, change your life. That's what mm -hmm. we did. True. And um, uh, on, honestly, man, uh, we, we've been working hard, but, but not in a sense that we're like, oh, we need to make that. We were just honestly making music. Like we yeah. were always just vibing our music and it happened to be successful. Because like it was I told new. you, like we did with uh, Too Hot, it just happened in a couple of hours. Like it was just a right. random thing, you know, like take it. 
Yeah, this we, was we, my track. Yes. I just send it to him, and he said, "I don't have a studio, man." I say, "Well, do it in the kitchen." He just yeah. I did, did it with it. the MacBook speakers. But no, but but the thing is, but even even with a professional studio, whatever, I think a little bit of a spontaneous uh, vibe in your production should uh, always always helpful. For sure, because because. If you pro if you plan your your track one on one like okay I have in my head it has to exa exactly that I'm gonna promote it exactly that way if something was wrong then your whole castle falls mm -hmm. but if you if you're like okay I love this track I can vibe to it if I, if you love your track people will yes, love people it yes people will love it sure. yes. honestly this will sound like the most cliche thing uh, thing to say but honestly if you believe in your track people will as well definitely. Definitely. Maybe, maybe on 10 tracks, there can be like some that doesn't work. Like I did an album and some of them that I loved, they didn't work. Mm -hmm. But honestly, like all, most of them, they were like successful, which I'm grateful, but like, because I truly believe in those tracks. Right. And when I play that, you can see that I love what I've done. And For I, sure. He has the same malice, has the same, like. Yeah, malice, I think, yeah, more than yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. We, he produces way less in, in, like, in terms of number of tracks, but the ones he produces are like so intense. Mm -hmm. and, and they're not even, yeah, of course, they're dance floor based type of tracks, but they tell so much and and he can talk for hours about those tracks how many producers can like talk hours about their tracks their their music in that sense mm. you generally have to believe in your music otherwise people won't believe it so with that said tell me the story about too hot because uh we talked okay. a little bit about that um, okay just take what i just said and forget it <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah this is the first uh, step no like, I it, just, it was uh, a solo track from Super. yeah it was a solo track i made the track in probably like, i don't know 45 minutes, whatever. 45 yeah, minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I can't even, like when I sit down Can to produce, start the PC I'll, I'll, be, I'll be like, oh, okay, no, I need to work on a snare and it's gotta be in tune with the track that I'm going, okay. And then the first 45 minutes are working on that snare. No, I work, I work a lot with the templates that I made. Of course. During yeah. my, my life. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So I basically, for example, tomorrow I have to do a uh, euphoric track. I just go template, mm -hmm. seek mode euphoric track, 160 BPM, boom. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Done. It's almost ready. In sure. There. I just have to change the lead, change the vocal and change the kick, done. Not even change the rises? <laughs> the claps. The claps. Clap. I never change a clap, clap, the snare, the sweep in my we've life. Been, we've been anything. using the same sweep. The same clap in like seven years. Like <laughs> well, man, no one this cares. This is an insult to audio. My, my heart aches. My heart no, aches. No, well, well if, I have to, if we have to create some huge... It depends, oh. dude. It depends, it depends, it depends what of we're course, producing. Of course, of course. It depends it what we're producing. But uh, yeah, just, man, I, I don't... But, I but don't uh, to go back to, to, uh, to Too Hot, 45 minutes. But... Yeah, maybe, well, maybe a, little a little bit, bit more. It's a little bit or more. I, yeah, I remember one hour, maybe. I don't know. Just okay. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, because when we we're talking a, a little bit beforehand, you mentioned uh, about working on a track that somehow needed to be finished in a kitchen. No. Well, basically, that happened. Uh, so he had this solo track, and he said, "Look, I uh, let, let's do this a collab." And I'm like, "Okay, cool." I didn't have a studio. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, right now, I'm living in this house. Now I have my own studio. Studio, like people who follow me know that. But before, uh, my studio was in my living room on the dining table. Oh. Like I had half of, like imagine here, oh, yeah. I had like my laptop and uh, not even the speakers, man. Just, I had uh, everything for streaming. I was streaming from my living room. Right. So he said, okay, let's do it. And um, I put the track there and uh, cut the first drop and then <laughs> put my kicks. Like, no stamps, no, just Dude, the wave file. I just sent the wave file to him and wow. said, do something. Wow. Yeah, but, but that, but, okay. And but this is, no, no, this is part of the vibe. That's why you say, you yeah. vibe the track. You say, ooh, yeah, that's cool. cool. Uh, that's okay. enough. Of course. It's enough. Yeah, but of course we have experience enough. Like we spend years uh, in order to make tracks in such a short time. For like, sure. Like, of course, back in the days, if I did a track in 10 minutes, it would sound like a track from 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, yeah, but it doesn't now matter, we, we so. spent we spend 10 years uh, producing and now we can afford to make a track in, in yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. That's the thing. You, yeah. you, know, you know what I'm talking I know exactly about. what you mean. So when, when he gave me Too Hot, I just changed the kicks and I already knew they sounded good because I, I knew how they sound. Yeah. I, I can read the speakers. Yeah, you don't need the yeah. speakers, you don't need the headphones. You just, just know. Pop, pop, like, pop, some stuff that you already prepared earlier. Yeah, like a, a lot of vocals that I did back in the day. The vocals uh, from Aggressive Records, they're done with my phone, with the phone I did. I see. Aggressive Records. Oh, wow. The Gang. The, the, the track oh, from- Welcome uh, to the Gang. I just call him and say, can you do Welcome to the Gang? And, yes, and Welcome to the Gang, that's it. Welcome to the Gang, bitch. That's literally- <laughs> Your phone. Yes. yes. Welcome to what's up and creativity it. at its absolute maximum. I did also the collab with Delete Australian uh, Brown. Uh, like oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah, like that's Did literally my exactly voice. This like, voice like, exactly it was like, like I see the end coming. <laughs> oh no, yeah, like. yeah, he did with an iPhone and uh, the track you're on Spotify. You would never say it's an iPhone, but that's because maybe it, if, if I, it was an Android, maybe. Uh, no. We are against Android. But the uh, iPhone, oh, yes. oh, okay, sorry. So if, it's, if it came from an Android cloud. No, it doesn't uh, work. No, if it was an Android, it was like, 
Yeah, it doesn't have the sound. <laughs> um, uh, I really have to pee. Can, can you ask someone sick? Uh, sure, okay. So while you can take I, a... Can I just stop for one second? So, sorry, guys. Sorry, chat. I really have to pee. Is that grappa's gone straight no, no, through your the, system? It, I, I've been drinking three bottles of water. So. He's got to go. While he takes a break uh, and stuff, I'm going to go through another question uh, that has come in from the chat. Coming in from Corey Kate. Uh, what is it like being close friends with your label mates? That's the best thing, like, okay, business-wise, too, uh -huh. but it's so good. I literally call him, and they say, hey, in one week, I have to release this, and he say, uh -huh, and he closed the phone. That's it. I release the track. No one cares. 100% of the profit. So it's nice and easy. Yeah, zero budget, because I do everything. I cover uh, uh, graphic design. Um, we have a guy that works with us, mm -hmm. the distribution, and right. that's, that's it. That's, that's it. Three guys, we can do everything. That's cool though, because a lot of the times the artists that have um, a team. Like no, no, I mean, I mean the relationship that they have with their labels are not so pleasant, you know. Um, not to throw anyone under the bus, but a couple of years ago, um, when uh, when I was working with uh, Co uh, Co Black for Bioweapon, we had some issues with our label at the time, trying to get stuff released, and uh, and we were, can happen. you know, and this is probably the reason why uh, we opened our label. Right. Okay. So you know, to smooth the whole process of getting your music out there and to be in control of what you're doing creatively if you like what you do no one can tell you what to do like no one can tell you hey i don't like this you have to change it no it's my music i decide i release bam I, lo you. I love the confidence i dissociate there. myself from the fuck you sorry twitch <laughs> <laughs> but that said, you know, I love the idea that you guys are so so confident and so um, easy to get stuff out there that, that the creative process and is the, your process and shouldn't be influenced too much. The most important thing is uh, we help each other every single time. Okay. Is that just because you're label mates or is it just because you're friends first and we then grow, label happens? We happen? all together. There you go. There you go. And th that's, that's what you need, guys. You don't need anything else. I just say, hey, Ruler, uh, can you do a track for me tomorrow because uh, I have to no. go out with my girlfriend? He say, yes, I can do it. That's it. And that's, I, you know, what? I'm, it's like that. Okay. He can say to me, hey, can, can you pass me one of your... Uh, Tubu, tubu, Can you take me one of your kicks? Or I've I, take I, it. I, I, never, I never did it. <laughs> shut up, man. Shut up. No, I, I don't need... No, can, I can I have some of your reverse bass? Because I really, really... <laughs> even if, I say, even if I say no, you literally okay. have my sample. Okay. <laughs> so this, this is a yes for me, so... There you go. But I uh, mean, that's, that's how it works. You see the, the, the vibe, the mood, it have to be easy. True. Easy, yeah. Yeah. True. And, uh, and I think that's a lot, a lot of the times uh, what uh, bigger labels are missing are making life easier for the artists to just sort of get more content out there and to, to keep the artists happy and... And uh, the, the problem is that w when you when you start to making good numbers, like we also have that in a way, but like other type of people that I I, I, I met for the years, like the, when they do good numbers, they're like, oh, I need to do. If I don't get that number or more, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be depressed. Right. I've, I've been in that type of situation, but honestly, man. It's it's still you know it's music whatever mm -hmm. you, you don't you don't do it for the numbers in that sense yeah you, you shouldn't know. no okay with with that uh, I, don't, I don't know if it made sense with the conversation no, no it, it does, just it does. Yeah, it's it all just good it's all good <laughs> you, you slid into that really I, well I, I and was, just sort of faded I was, faked it till you made it I was just trying to vibe uh, something but it's okay and it's all about that vibe but let's change gears a little bit and focus on some embarrassing moments that happened while you guys were DJing because I'm sure that there would be plenty of moments where you've been me. yeah I'm sure it's, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe you've split I saw your Christopher, pants. Christopher naked. No, wait, wait, wait. Almost what? naked. Oh, yeah. No, I'm turning down stage. your mic. I'm sorry. Your mic is gone. Tell the story. He was like almost like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember I was playing. No, but wait, I don't, I don't remember. Can, can I, can no. I? Yeah, yeah. Tell wait, the story. What? Tell the story. And he uh, had yeah, a t shirt. I remember, like, aggressive act t shirt. He just, dude, in one, I, I, I look at him. And it was okay, totally fine. Was okay. Vibing. Closer yeah. to the mic. I, I, do, I, did, I do like this. I go up and he's naked. No, but where? I don't remember this. I, mean, I, I feel, of, I feel like... In the middle like of the stage, you're naked, Trump, man. Yeah. I feel like... That's, that's bullshit, man. No, it was, no, no. Your t-shirt was, in, was up. Yeah, oh, in 2016. Yeah, you yeah in 2016. Rostal Nation. Whatever, you was naked. 2016, uh, Almelo. Yeah, no, dude. I, dude, that, I that remember I did like this. I was, like, yeah, but you said naked. So. I just took my shirt off. No, I'm, no, I, no, I don't no, have man. a... I'm not that's a requiem. I don't have a six-pack, man. Dude, this is what I have. That's, I'm Italian. For me, that is naked <laughs> in the stage. No, I don't care. Well... I wasn't naked, man. 
I wasn't da- naked. David can do it. But, but, can do this thing, but, although, but you can't. Mm-hmm. Well, da- David, <laughs> David does it anyway. Does it anyway, yeah. He's always <laughs> it, naked. It's cold, thing, it's so. hard, he doesn't care. Oh, uh, let's, oh let's, where let's you go? Let's flex the six pack. I've been to the gym. Yeah, let's just flex well, it. That, that's a good way, in my opinion. I can't at the moment. Eat. Yeah, that's why I did it once and I learned my mistakes. There was there was girls in the front. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. there, was, there, was, there were girls and they were but like. Don't imagine, uh, imagine, uh, after 40, <laughs> imagine after 40 minutes of, of set. Dude, it like, was so sweaty. It was so sweaty. It was so shit. Man. <laughs> it was really raw that, that moment. And then, you know? and then yeah, he's uh, like <laughs> all naked. Was, you, what the fuck was the man? shirt around the head? Were you doing these ones? Were you throwing no, it around? No, no, I remember you, you, you tried that. Okay, okay, let's say something. Back in the days, we understood that uh, like people were really like, we were really becoming a thing. So we were like, okay, if, if they, they can have a rule or malice t shirt that we used, they're gonna have fucking. They'll go crazy kill, for they it. kill each other for it. So I was like, okay, look, cool. And that's what happened. In reality, that's what happened. They really wanted a t-shirt. The problem is that I don't look good without. <laughs> right. And, and so you <laughs> literally took the shirt off your back to donate to these crazy fans. Yeah, the yes. thing is, I throw it and he went to the, to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> imagine the people, man. Imagine the crowd go, was, go up. Imagine if I throw it out and it's like stuck there. And, like, oh, okay. man. and, 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 and people like, and people start to jump. And I was like. each other for reach this, this. And I was like, I was go, like covering my boobs this. like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how I made it this far, man, honestly. I don't, I don't know why I'm here. It's like a blessing, honestly. Oh. You, know, you know, so many times, like, uh, Ale, we have to play. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Ten minutes later, I just go in the stage. <laughs> what? Oh, my you, gosh. You know, you know when you're like, oh, I have a big performance, I have to prepare. <laughs> Man, we don't prepare <laughs> Dude, anything. I, I played. I played. Uh, I played in uh, in, in Sydney uh, for um, for a court till I die with Sefa. Uh huh. <laughs> we didn't prepare anything, and Sefa plays two hundred. I plays one sixty, and we didn't prepare anything. We just arrived there. Sefa, what are we gonna do? I don't know, man. <laughs> there was there was fifteen thousand people. And I was like, and this basically okay, we'll see. every aggressive act performance. <laughs> it was a little bit like we have a we have a suit. I probably see. Oh, dude, I forgot every the time. Every time I say, oh, I forgot the t-shirt. I forgot the cap. I forgot the shoes. <laughs> every like, time it was like that. It was like, so bad. It's like man. minus oh. militia. It's like imagine minus militia, and you see them. No, no, Knowles without the the, the, the pants, without the kids. stuff like that. <laughs> and they're like, why? Yeah, because you forgot. You would never see them from that. But from aggressive act, if if you go back in time and you check those pictures, you see, like. Oh, we, we always have like the aggressive cap here, and mm-hmm. so, um, sometimes he or me, like we had the cap the other way around. That's because it was not aggressive. The best, <laughs> best thing ever, uh, David de Malis with the Yambo bag in the main oh. stage of Supremacy. Yeah, we, we, were, we were going to Damn. we were going to Supremacy Savage. Australia. <laughs> and it was like Warface with a huge bag because he had the, the helmet really, and the all radical. All really professional. All like professional. And, and David with, that was Albert Ty. With Albert Ty. Albert no, Ty. Yumbo, no, 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 Yumbo, 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 Yumbo. It was a supermarket Yumbo. bag with the, with the clothing inside. <laughs> we were like, wow, next level. <laughs> oh, like, man. You see people that are like, I don't know, it's like 10K people. Uh, it's Supremacy Australia. We were like, just, I don't yeah. care, man, whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, and, and, and it's fun because back, back, then, back then, after that, after the performance on social, everyone was like aggressive ad, aggressive ad. Um, yeah, <laughs> true, they see the vibe, man, the mood. Well, uh, you know, okay, that's, a, that's a really, really awesome undercurrent throughout these all e- these experiences is that th- it's been really real, actually. Yes, I don't, everything I, is real, really guys. human. I, everything is real. I don't, <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even know if, if, I, if I had the chance to go back in time. I don't know if I would change it no. uh, to make it more professional. It, it was so good, man. I, th- I mean, that sort of authentic, rough around the edges uh, approach to the performances, approach to the music and everything has really created something unique, uh, which I was talking about beforehand off camera. What you guys have done, I think, is really uh, awesome because while there had been kind of jokey hard style yeah. and there had been a uh, little bit of stuff uh, that was not so serious in the music, the predominantly music was quite serious. You oh, know? Pe- people made fun of us for, uh, for years, but then uh, look at them now, they're just copying. Exactly. And so that kind of level of persistence of like, you know, this is who we are and what we do. We're making music that we believe in for the yeah, hell of it. And if you don't like it, whatever. Yeah, music always finds its, its way. Yeah. Right. But, but at the same time, it's easy for a lot of people who try something new and then it doesn't work on the first time the second or the third time and then they kind of give up where your persistence in a way has sort of influenced the hardstyle scene because people are more accepting of you know random house breakdown sped up speed house or whatever as opposed to before you know the music was really like it has to be like this thank god that they accept it now because honestly um you you would not be on stage if (laughs) if people wouldn't accept it but no i think i don't know man um i think 
we we I was really close mine. I think he was close mine as well with Hearthstone. But like after some point, it's like man, you, you know, it's not all about uh, ton ton ton. You know, for sure, you can also do other stuff. That's not not all about it. Mm. So when is the uh, Aldi Cross Ruler Cross Sick Mode collab coming in? Who? Aldi. Is that the supermarket? Yeah. When's no, that happening? Man, man, sorry, but I dissociate <laughs> myself. From you know, no, no, no. not collabing with Lidl. Maybe with Lidl. Yes. Uh, okay, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. So when we moved in the Netherlands, we moved to a place called Finkefeen. Uh, it's near Utrecht and uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. And um, and we only had the Jumbo there. And I don't know for whatever fucking reason, Snapchat was a thing back in the days. I was like snapping that I was going to the supermarket, and people were like, "Oh my God, ruler is going to the Jumbo. So gezellig, so fun." And I'm like, and I'm like, man. Man, it's literally a supermarket. What I'm supposed to do to eat, and it became a thing. So I performed at, at a party with a with a Jumbo polo, <laughs> with, with my name on it. Like if someone from the Jumbo gave it, and then I and yeah, then Defcon. and no, it was yeah. a uh, no, there was a Koningsdag uh, in uh, 2017 uh, or 18. But then the thing is, I I started to to you know meme this Jumbo thing, and yeah. I was like, you know what, Albertine is shit. I started to diss them on, on Instagram, <laughs> and, they, and they saw my DMs. Whoa, I was, no I was way! I was tagging Albertine uh, uh, on Instagram. I was like, "You fucking shit! I hate you. <laughs> you and boys way better." And they replied to me. And they said, "You know what? Right back at you." They said, "Fuck you! Fuck you too." <laughs> I, was, I was like, "No fucking way that this happened." And then, and then, and then, and then uh, something with Lidl happened. I said, "You know what? Uh, the donuts from Lidl are really good." And they they contacted me. They said, "Oh, thanks. We appreciate that." I was like. Nice, thank you. Shout out thank to Lidl. <laughs> yeah. And fun fact, now I wear, wear Lidl stuff. I have a, I have a Sperips Express uh, hat. I have a, something from Taos Bezor as well. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I think Dutch people uh, make it a, a meme more than it is, but whatever, cool. Hey. Whatever works. Uh, yeah, exactly. If it's rocking and rolling and it's the vibe, it's well, the vibe. What, what's, what's the most famous supermarket in, uh, in Australia, in Sydney, let's say? Oh, okay. So we've got two competing chains. So Coles and Woolworths, they're the main ones that are kind w of like that. Would you, would, you, would you flex their merch? On stage? You know what? I think they're too commercial. I'd probably go IGA. That's like the lower one. Like so the, the, it's like the Lidl of... Uh, no, it's not quite there. So <laughs> it's the next one up. So, you know, like, um, what's it? The co-op or the Dirk? It's kind of that level. Okay, okay. So where you've got Albert Hine, that'll be like Woolworths and Coles. And then the next one down, like yeah. your Dirk and your co-op, so that'll be IGA. But would you flex the, the merch? I'd probably flex IGA, yeah. And everyone would laugh uh, at it. You know what? Shout but out to not, IGA. Yeah, but not in an offensive way. Like, it's fun that you well, do we should, yeah. we should do some serious but we collaboration. With yeah. uh, Yambo, probably. Oh, we they, they can put the sponsor. Do, do we can do. Do you the remember? Video clip with, you know the products from <laughs> do you, Yambo. Do you, do you remember when uh, when uh, when uh, I created the Stay Hydrated uh, hype? Oh, stay. Do stay you, hydrated. Do, do, yeah. do you remember that hype in the back? In, well, no, no, I, I, well, honestly, honestly, we created also. A fill me in. Fill me in because there's well, plenty of people watching that would have no idea what this is. Back in the days, um, <laughs> the, we were being harsh on Facebook uh, together with uh, Kane and uh, and him and other people. And my label boss Phil was shot out. He, he texted me and he said, dude, you really have to stop being harsh on Facebook because promoters are looking at you. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be super nice. And I was saying to everyone, please stay hydrated, <coughs> have a good day, be nice to everyone. So then stay hydrated became such a thing that we reached like even big, big, huge DJs like with a fucking bottle of what? Stay hydrated. <laughs> but that's something I did for a joke, right? And, and fun fact, Kane, he got sponsored by water and they sent him, <laughs> dude, I swear to God, they sent him like a pallet full of water. Are you serious? I know joking man wow sponsored I've been I've been tagging Adidas for so long and yeah. still didn't sponsor they, they haven't got you I swear to God when me and him were wearing Adidas <laughs> people, Adidas people, every day. people <laughs> were coming to us flexing the, the, the Adidas tracks with us like I bought it for you <laughs> it's like where the fuck is my money then true honestly true. Adidas, need some royalties yeah, on that shit people, Adidas Adidas people. CEO of Adidas I don't know if you're watching this but if you are please give me some money man yeah. this is the time well, that we, you can we, we give deserve some, money. some percentage not, not even not even clothing man just give me money man honestly <laughs> I, I, you owe me so much people have been buying stuff because of you dude legit you need I'm a not, kickback I'm not even joking well, you need a kickback come on but we, we, we've been doing so much shit yeah so like, much thing even the AX or game uh, yeah, the gang, stuff. me and him started the gang in 2000. Well, no, I don't own the, the gang, gang gang thing. or the... It's just that Italian rappers will do it at all. We'll do gang, gang, gang. So I was like, hey, you know what? Gang. gang. And we started like a gang. And, 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 and like everyone was like, gang. <laughs> <you> <laughs> <know>? <laughs> like we were at Defcon, Defcon, Indigo, and everyone like, gang. Like this. Like, gang. <laughs> do you remember on stage with a microphone? When I say, hey, you, you say, say gang, gang. gang. <laughs> man, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> gang. And I was like, man, it's literally... <laughs> That's amazing. So, but the thing is, like, my goal was, okay, I have to make this so 
me him as aggressive records gang type of thing so that if you do get this to that to to, to your instagram people will say hey he's a, you're, a, you're copying ruler yeah that's, that's uh, that was i'm gonna do that as soon as we get off air i'm gonna throw one of these up don't even tag me they will tag me wow okay it. how about that no i mean i mean it's it's kind of a stupid <laughs> thing because i i don't need uh, trust no, me no, I no. a lot of tags of people doing this oh you're copying ruler no man it's <laughs> literally <laughs> just it it's just the horns it means i love you in the in the yeah, rocker uh, thing yeah it's just really fun that people take it so seriously man i love it how about that yeah, gang in the chat, otherwise gang, we're not going to Gang in the chat. Go I go, no, gang in the chat. Gang go in the chat, or he's care. leaving. I don't care. He's leaving. Gang in the chat, or he's me. leaving. Me. Okay, so with that uh, uh, under our belts, we need to. We're looking at. Uh, oh, we've got a bit of time. Uh, can we get some beers? Can we get some beers? Because I, I think it's that time. I don't like. Uh, not at all. Yes, you know what it's all about. You know exactly what, what it's all what about. What do you mean? I don't know that. Okay, so as a way to sort of. drive. Uh, or the I, I more can recent. drink like a little bit of beer. If you want. Fantastic. So um, I need to introduce you to, to this tradition because you've, you've already done it. Okay. Uh, as a way to sort of celebrate a momentous occasion or say th we're welcoming, welcoming you into the chat, uh, into our, our group, into our tribe. Uh, of course, people do drinks. Yep. Aussies take it one step further and they drink their drinks out of a shoe. Wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> so name shoe. Okay. So I have a pair of shoes wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. You have a reason? Wait, wait, wait. Is it, is it Adidas? It's no, not out of that. Wait, wait, wait. How many people did this uh, These thing? are cleaned every week. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's, um, that's that doesn't mean they're new. <laughs> yeah, okay. They're clean every week. They're cleaned every week. They have never been worn by human shoes, uh, human feet. No, stay away. Don't go. No, go. No, You've got to do it. Don't bring the beer. No, You've absolutely got to yeah, do it. Yeah, bring the beer. It's fine. Okay. Absolutely do it. Gang, gang in the chat. Gang, gang in the chat. All right. Oh, Jesus Thank you. I'm going to pop that down. Unfortunately, Thank I can't drink all of that because I have to drive. Oh, that's I understandable. We'll, we'll share it. We'll share it. But you. Well, also, Christopher can do it. Come Chris, on, Chris no, you can no, do it. But wait, you can do it. Look, uh, because there's only two shoes here, I don't know that many three legged people. You can use my one. Don't worry. You can use Exactly. My one. We'll share the shoe. We'll <laughs> no. totally share the shoe. No, I mean my one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your, hey, if you actually take it off. Yeah. No, man. No, it's no, really no. bad. That's how you're traditionally supposed to do it. No, no, no. It's no, supposed no. to be a worn no, 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 shoe. No, you don't want to, to drink uh, or do even smell. His Man, you smell, you smell more. No, than no, me. exactly. Yeah, but you, we're talking about you. I have the okay. same thing. Huh? I mean, that's okay, it. Okay, don't worry. I'm joking. It's also good. <laughs> uh, I dissociate myself from the <laughs> smell. <laughs> and the I don't mean it. See, see off Twitch if you're watching. It's okay. Okay, so. Sorry, Twitch, please. Pay my rent also this month. <laughs> Sick mode, what you've got to do is you've got to take that beer and pour, pour part of it. Traditionally, it's all of it. I can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Pour that into the bottom of the shoe. So like this. Like this, exactly right. Be careful of your laptop. Sorry. And then when you're ready, do the same thing as well, please, uh, Ruler. I'm born ready, man. Yeah, there you go. Wait, 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 wait. I, I hate beer, so... This is the best I can do because I hate beer. That's fine. That's, that's fine. Uh, this one is out to you, all the people that are still tuned in, for the people that have just woken up in Europe, for the people that are staying up in Australia. We have Sick Mode and Ruler doing the shoeies on the count of three. One, two, three. Shoey! Fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody at home, everybody that's having a good time kicking gang, off gang, your gang. weekend. Gang, gang. Everybody, I gang, gang. In the place. Sick Mode and Ruler, once again, I myself, Audio Free, guiding you through your weekend vibes. You've tuned into another episode of HSU Broadcasting live from Amsterdam. We'll catch you again next week. See ya. Woo! Ciao. HSU, live from Amsterdam. Yeah.